Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video on some clothes I ordered online. I've got a pretty little thing. I've got H&M, I've got Shein, I've got, um, there's another one, I can't remember what it is. Nasty girl. So I'm going to be sharing with you what I got from there. This is one of them. So keep watching. I hope you're all doing really, really well. Um, it's really like, oh, you just can't go out and, and do all the things that you normally do. But you know what? It'll all be over soon. So just hang in there. So first off, I'm going to start with the Pretty Little Thing order. Um, hmm, again, oh my, I've got some returners. Return to Cinder. Um, these, these I'm keeping. I love this. This is the donut pyjama set. They are so cute. It's unbelievable. The t-shirt to this is cropped, so it goes up to your belly button. Um, it's got the two donuts on the front, and it's got the little shorts that are just... They're not drawstring. They are just... Um, they're just elasticated at the top, but they are super stretched, so you can get them on really, really well. They're so comfortable. It's unbelievable. They don't go over the bump. Like, they don't expose your bum cheeks at all so they're nice and comfortable they're really really soft love this so so much i just need to check how much they were because I, I think they were 15 pounds let me just double check yeah so the pajamas were 15 pounds but they are so worth it i know you can get cheaper in primark but come on we can't go in primark right now it's soul destroying it's like all sitting there waiting for us to just go in we can't get it but Loving these. These are so sweet and let's face it, we're going to be living in these for the next three, four months with the lockdown. The next thing I have is this. Now, I, I was really excited about this. This was £5. It's like a beach onesie type thing. Um, it is really see-through, so you can see straight through it. But it feels really nice, really, really cute. It was £5. I got it in a size 6, I believe. Yeah, I got it in a size six. Um, it's got a little tie up at the front. Doesn't really tie much up to be fair. It's very, very low plunging. Um, but it's just too small. Um, I think if I got it in an eight, it would fit a little bit better, but I'm just not feeling it on me. I don't like it on me at all. So it's, it's not gonna be a keeper. This one will be going back. I do really like animal print. It's been years since I had any animal print in my wardrobe and I thought, Go on, Gabby, you know you want to. But it's an absolute no-go, so this will be going back. I mean, it, if I had it in the right size, it would be comfortable. I'm just not keen on it being that low cut. I'd have to put something underneath it. It just rises up my backside way too much. Like, it's seriously... I mean, it's practically going inside my body, so it's a no-go. This was a huge, huge gamble. Now, I did a pretty little thing haul... Uh, a couple of weeks ago and there was a dress in there that I really really liked it was a blazer a gold button like dress it was just not fitting nice at all it's baggy in places tight in places it just was not right so I thought I'd do an exchange and I loved loved the look of this I love the color it's so summery it's beautiful but I knew being only five foot four that the chances are this is going to be a bit too long for me and holy moly it is way way too long for me i got it in a size six because i am really petite but it's so tight under the armpits around the arms if i move my back if i bend a little bit it feels like the dress is going to rip um it doesn't feel it doesn't feel very well put together it feels like it's it's going to tear even if you have it in the right size it just feels very flimsy. It's quite a heavy dress. I love the frills on it. I love the colour. The, the slit on the leg is way too high. And bearing in mind I'm only five foot four, that slit is so high it's unbelievable. If I kept this, I'd have to take the dress up in length and I would have to um, sew all the way down, halfway down my thigh because it is extremely high slit i mean you would be sharing your underwear to the world it is that high uh the dress itself is lovely it's just definitely not for me when i put it on i didn't like the frilling around the neck it's very low cut and i've got no boobies i've got no titties whatsoever so for this is a no-go unless i had some big hooby doos plunging off my chest but even then the dress would not fit properly because 
it's tight in areas and fine in others. So this is a no-go, it's going back. This was £35. And as lovely as the dress looks on the site, it definitely does not look nice on me. I treated myself to one of these little bad boys. This was £5. It says pretty little thing on the front. You can get it in black with white writing on the front, but I went for the pink one. It's this satin sort of material. I just, I, you know what? I need some decent sleep. I'm just not getting it. I'm up till like one, two o'clock in the morning looking at food delivery slots, like, because that's the best time. If you want to get a food delivery slot, two, three o'clock in the morning, you'll get one. Um, I don't really want to put it on because... I'm quite liking my, my eyes today. So I'm not going to put that on. But yeah, this is going to try and help me sleep a bit better because I'm just not. I'm like every little light, every flash of the um, the hub box in the room or whatever. I'm just like... So I thought, no, five pounds to go treat myself to a little eye mask. And yeah, really, really comfy. Feels quite sturdy. Don't seem to be anything wrong with it. So, I mean, five pounds is a lot of money for that flimsy little thing. I mean, you could probably make that out of a satin sock. Bit of elastic. Moving on to H&M, I ordered the boys a load of joggers each because they're going to spend their time in the house, in the garden. They're not going anywhere else. They're not going to the shop. They're not doing anything because I'm not risking them. So I thought, I'll just get you a load of joggers. So I got them all three pairs each um, in an off It was 20% off kids' clothes. It was even better. I was like, brilliant. Came to like 80 quid or something in the end, but at least they're covered for comfy. And I thought, well, you know... It feels wrong to order off a clothes site and not get something for yourself. So I thought, I will do. And I got myself this blazer. Oh my goodness me. I got this in a size 6, so 34 euro. Um, it's like a linen, it's very cotton. Oh, it's just gorgeous. I flipping love this. I can't remember how much it was. I'll have to have a look. I think it was 35. You do have pockets on it, but you do have to snip the, um, the thread in inside to actually get into the pockets, I believe. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? I may be wrong. I'm going to give it a go. Oh. No, you do have pockets. Yeah, so you do have to cut across there or just prise it open with some scissors. Just cut the stitching along. I'll show you, actually. Because I, have, I find it so frustrating to not have a pocket on my trousers, on my coats. So, yeah, it's like that. But you do have to cut that cotton stitching across so then you can access the pocket it's really nice it fits beautifully i think you just go with so many things you can have an all white outfit and just like a little chain bag maybe an animal print one throwing a little bit of that in there you could have blue denim jeans with a white t-shirt and a belt put some little white pumps on so casual so nice if it gets a bit chilly you've got yourself a blazer loving this and the weather's perfect for it right now so this is an absolute keeper but to be fair all the clothes i've ever got from h&m always felt like really good quality i've never had to return anything to h&m pretty little thing is very very different that is like it's like online flipping bingo if you're lucky if not you've lost out massively moving on to nasty girl this I fell in love with. It's so different. It's just something that I don't have in my in my wardrobe. And it's just, it's, it's different. So some of you are going to be like, oh my God, no. But it's one of them Marmite things. You either love it or you hate it. And I love this. I got it in small medium because that's the only size you could get. Or you can get medium large. But for me, small medium. It's a crochet, a very 60s hippie chick dress. Oh my good sweet lord above. Look at this. So much. I don't know. I don't know what it's going to look like on because I've not tried this one on yet. The others I had previous to um, talking about them, but this one, oh, so excited! It is going to be a bit of a mission trying to find something to go underneath it because it is see-through. I think a bikini underneath it will look really nice in the going down to the beach and things like that, or maybe just being in the garden. But actually, out and about when that day comes, when we can venture back out again, I don't know what I'd put underneath this. Maybe some. I don't know. Maybe the um, white like cycling short, like short ones with a little white crop underneath would go quite well. Maybe, but then it's kind of losing the style, isn't it? You need like a little, oh no, I just go to Primark when it's open again and get one of them long vests at like three pounds. 
those dress type ones. But look, isn't she gorgeous? I love the colouring in it. That is so, so different. I love this so much. This is amazing. I think I got it for £20. It might have been about £20, £17.99, something like that. I will link all these down below. I said I was going to in my boots haul, but I couldn't do... I don't know if it's because I've got the app and there's nowhere on there you can actually share the page from the app. But every time I went to go on Boots, it just took me straight to the app and I couldn't get the links to put underneath. So I do apologise. I will put these links down below. Last up is some quirky things that I just wanted to try for fun from um, Shein. They had an offer on as well with some like percentage off. Uh, I love, do you know what? Out of all of them, the cheapest bloody side has the best best bags they have these like zip up love these um these are worth keeping this <laughs> yeah you're probably thinking what the fuck is she pulling out my bag i got this for a tenner they are proper 80s shell suit type material these are shorts you've got the meshing down the, either side of the shorts shell suit material Drawstring stretch shorts. <laughs> oh my god. With shell suit material, meshing, <laughs> cropped hoodie. Oh my goodness. It's so bright, it's so out there, but I thought, you know what, just for a bit of fun, I want to get something really bright and colourful and just, just try it. Just see what it's like. I mean... Would I actually wear this out? Probably not. But I just wanted to try it and you never know. A month down the line I might think, do you know what, I flipping love that. I'm gonna wear it out. Why not? But I'm gonna try it on and see what it looks like. It looks like it's gonna be so uncomfortable. But I imagine it's gonna be really hot in that. Like even if you had nothing underneath, which to be fair, I probably wouldn't put anything underneath other than, you know, a thong or something, obviously. But on this, I don't think I'd put anything underneath. Because the meshing goes further down at the back, so you don't want to see bra straps and all that crap. That's kind of awful, especially with a shell suit. I mean, you really are walking down the Chav Central if you do that. So I think, yeah, I think just go bare-breasted underneath this, tell ya. And it's going to be so sweaty in that. Oh my god, what have I brought? Last thing on my list is this, because I saw it and I fell in love with it instantly. Happy. It's a cropped tie-dye t-shirt. This is proper going back to the um, to the 90s, isn't it? But I just love this. This would be so cute with like little shorts or jeans. Just, yeah, pretty much that, I think. But I love this. And to be fair, I did order all of this stuff before I cut all my hair off. If you haven't seen that video where I shaved my own head, I will link that down as well. But yeah, and... It just would have gone better with how my hair was before. I think now with this cut, it makes me look older. And I don't know, I'm just a little bit more conscious about what I would wear with it. Especially that dress, that orange dress. No, <laughs> no, no. But I love this t-shirt. I think it's really, really nice. It's nice, it's comfy. Just some little shorts or whatever that in the summer. You can't go wrong, really. And I think it was like stupid, like $5.99 for that. And it's really, really cute. Look, it just makes you think of like happy places because it says happy on it. But the colouring, it makes me think of sky and clouds and I'm on one. Anyway, that was everything that I got. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can see exactly why I'm sending those items back. Um, the shell suit thing was for fun. Loving these. Donuts. I don't have any donuts. I do not have donuts. That's bra. That is bra, I'm telling you. Don't be fooled. I've got nothing, nothing. So yeah, I thought I'd share with you. I hope you're all enjoying this really lovely weather and I will see you all again in my next video. I'm gonna be doing a how I style my hair. I haven't styled it today, I've just washed it and left it, but I will do a video at some point sharing with you how I style my pixie cut. So thanks so much for watching.